How's it going guys and welcome back to Finding Charizard and yes we're back with another video today and today we have got a box sitting in front of me and we have got some tasty pocket card grading slams that have been sent, actually got sent yesterday I think it was, so I've been itching to get op uh, to get these open and uh, we're going to check out the cards that I've got inside but with this video as well, uh, this is more like a recommendation for me, like pocket card grading have been brilliant for me, the service has been top notch and I think the slabs are well worth talking about because there's some really nice interesting facts about the slabs and the company as well. Before we dive into all of that guys, if you can do me a massive favour and subscribe to the channel, turn on notification and smash smash that like button if you're enjoying today's content and if we can get around 15 likes on this one I'll be well chuffed and thank you for all your support with this one guys it really does mean a lot. So the first area I wanted to talk about was some of the facts about these slabs inside. I want to leave the opening of the box till last so before we crack into the box I want to talk about some of the key features of the slabs as well. So they use crystal clear acrylic which it means it's very extremely durable and it's UV resistant as well. So when you see like polystyrene and stuff it's not oh like over time it will get coloring it will take quite a while for it to show color through but with it being acrylic it means that it's very very resistant um, to UV rays and stuff like that. And the nice thing about the actual slab as well, there's no abbreviated text. And like when you first see the slab, the first thing you'll see is the text. There's nothing like around it, there's no borders or anything like that. It's a very clean looking slab. And the thing with acrylic as well, it's 15% more transparent, or it's excellent to scratch resistant, a lot more than polystyrene. And it's a higher quality material that pocket card grading are using and it's more expensive to use acrylic than polystyrene that's why you know sometimes when you drop a PSA graded slab for instance you'll get a crack in it with these acrylic slabs this should be a lot lot more durable as well and one of the interesting key points about the slabs as well they're like the smallest graded card encapsulations that you can actually get on the market which is really interesting obviously it kind of coincides to the pocket card grading name because the these slabs should fit in your pocket which I also think is kind of a unique um, thing about the slabs as well so if you've got like really valuable cards that you want to make sure that they stay you know color protected and you know if you did accidentally drop them these are perfect slabs for that they you know they're using really good top materials to ensure that your card is encapsulated to you know a really high standard let's talk about some of the pot about polystyrene as well which you see with your PSA graded cards like this um, obviously this is a PSA card and I'll show you when we get the cards of this box out the, po the pocket card grading slab is a lot smaller and it's kind of cool as well so polystyrene is less transparent it's like covering over time and there's less strength to impact with uh, this kind of polystyrene card less scratch resistant as well so acrylic it seems to be the material to use if you really want to preserve your your graded cards for a long long period of time not saying that you know polystyrene won't do a job it will of course it will that's why a lot of other companies use it but acrylic is obviously taking it that to that next level which i think is fantastic by pocket card grading that they're doing that as well with all that being said let's actually give you some figures about some of the services that they offer and the grading services in general so you can send off your card for a standard fee of 12 pound to get graded but at the minute it's actually on sale for eight pound now i don't remember psa ever being like under 10 or back in 12 pound those days it seems so so long ago but eight pounds to get a card graded and with all that science behind the card encapsulation i think is really really great value for eight pound and they also do a cross grade for seven pound fifty again this is on sale and they're offering this for six pound fifty and if you want a card in just encapsulated if you've got an old car that's been battered and you've had it in your collection for a long time but you want to you know keep it nice because it's got nostalgia and memory to it then that's only going to cost you five pound as well so that on its own is pretty good grading services fees and stuff are a really good price point i think it's very fair and if these guys are doing sales and stuff there could be time you know you want to send a good view in to make most of that sale period which is counting on at the minute and what is also unique about pocket guard grading they also sell illustration cards by a few artists. Um, some of these guys are Poker HUD, who does illustrations, and they also do hand-drawn cards 
by an artist called Potter, and there's another one, uh, Watercolour Paintings by Professor Uni, I think that's how you say his name. Everything, like, see all this information, guys. See if you go on the Pocket Card Grading website, you can see all of this information. All I'm doing is just reiterating it to you guys, but I think it's very important because I feel like Pocket Card Grading are thinking outside the box, showing people other things that they can do with solid materials and offering a different variety of services as well, which is really good. But my general thoughts is slab, I do, I really like the look of the slabs. We'll get the slabs out in just a sec, and I'll talk a bit about that. But my experience, I've always had fantastic communication with Pocket Car Grading. As soon as I Instagram them, message them, they're getting back to me very, very quick. When I first sent my cards out to Pocket Car Grading, the owner of the company actually video emailed me saying about my cars, that they've received them, they're looking forward to getting my cars graded and getting them back to me. So having that on a personal note, I think is fantastic. It really brings like a, you know who your cars are going to and who's going to be looking at them. Um, you know, you see in the face of the person, it, it's nice and it's, you know, when you send in valuable cars to these guys, it gives you a bit of satisfaction knowing where these your cars have gone to. So I think that's very good and a really, really nice thing that they're doing there. But guys, let's not hang about any further, right? I'm itching to get into this. I've got my Charizard, PSA 9 there, and uh, I'm just gonna crack into this. So give me one sec. Okay, I've got all the cards out. I'll just get my scissors out of the way. And uh, they've got a note here that they often leave. Hi Matthew, thanks again for submitting with us. Your cards were the first Japanese Pokemon Go cards added to our database. So nice, happy days, which was exciting for us. We hope you are happy with your scores you received. Don't forget to scan your QR code and see the report sheets. So when you um, obviously turn your card over, you scan it in, you put that onto this system and it brings up your uh, the pop score sheets report and that will tell you where your defects were on the card, if any, which is really good and it's very, very easy to use. Um, that's the best thing that it's so easy to use. And with this as well, you also get your um, top loaders and your sleeves back. So let's work out the best way to go about showing these cards. So I'm not gonna show you that just yet. Let's turn this card over first. Oh, I forgot <laughs> that they do it, they hide it. So they keep you waiting even longer, guys. Anticipation much. So as you can see, we've got Charizard V from the Champions Park box. You know, this in a 10 is like a, how much is it roughly? It's roughly like a 50 pound card, 40 to 50. Um, and this is a, it's a nine. So I'm happy with nines. Like I didn't really pre-screen these cards much. Um, I just really pulled them out of the tin and put them um, in, in the parcel pretty much, but getting a nine, happy days. Charles RV, um, one I'll keep in my collection, I'll probably sell maybe later on, but it'll be interesting to see where the defects were of this one, and as you can see, scan that in, and that's where you'll get your report, but first look of the actual slab is very, very nice. First thing you see is your nine, which we spoke about, and uh, all the text. I really like the simplicity of the white and black. I think it really pops and it looks really, really good. So with this card, you will have, I might not go into all of the, uh, where are the other ones? Oh, I haven't got that one there. That one's just some of the other cards, but when I get around to the other ones, I'll show you like the actual report that you get in a metal slab casing as well. Ooh. So this is our Venusaur. So all of these cards that I sent off, they're pretty low value. They're not like major value cards. I just wanted to get a few in because they had this sale on and I wanted to make the most of getting that price point as well. And we have another nine guys. Cheeky nines are hitting me today, but Really nice card. I just like the hollow effect on this and I thought the Venusaur looked pretty cool. So I'm really happy with that one as well. I have to make way for this. But as you can see, look, if you can see what I mean, the PSA graded card is a lot bigger than the pocket card grading ones. Both look you know, really cool cards, but um, the actual quality of the pocket card grading ones, you do notice the difference. There is a bit of a weight to them as well, which is really nice. Um, I do really like. And this one is my Blastoise I sent away. If I can just get this bag open. I could have actually prepared this better had I remembered that they have the, uh, <laughs> the black labels over it. And we have another nine. I'm hitting nines today, guys. Fingers crossed we can get a 10 from somewhere. But 
I love a Tiki 9, that's fine. Again, these aren't mega valuable cards, it's just nice to get a few extra slams in that look pretty nice as well. And we have the Reshiram as well. Fingers crossed we can get another 9 or something higher. I, I, you know, I had a little look at these cards and I kind of thought, yeah, these look pretty decent. Let's go with some of these. Um, and so far, not too bad. I'm not expecting anything really lower than an 8, to be fair. Oh, <laughs> another 9. <laughs> All right, days, come on, give me 110. I want to see 110. But no, really nice looking card. The rest around from Celebrations. I think I've got a few more from Celebrations here as well. Um, so let's, and we have the Tapalele from, uh, what set was that from again? Leave a comment down below, I can't remember. But guys, tell me what you think of the first look of these uh, Pocket Card Grading Snaps. I really get around them, I really like the look of them. I think they've done a very, really good job. And these do stack quite nicely as well, these slabs as well. And uh, of course, we've got our tape here as well. Another nine. I think it's going to be a day of nines, guys. <laughs> Another one. Again, I'll be interested to see what the reports say about these cards, why we just missed out on the 10. But getting all nines isn't, you know, nine is still a good grade and it shows it's like a minty looking card, nevertheless. Obviously, your 10, in terms of 10s, it's more valuable. But we see with cards like this that are lower level, I, you know, I'm not too fast, I, you know, um, it's not that big a deal. And could this be a 10? And we do have a 10, the Mew EX, probably, one of my, probably actually my favourite card from the lot, Mew EX in a 10, really nice looking card, that is cool. So, we've got those six cards there, and let's open up this as well, and I can show you what the pop report, let me show you the 10, let's see the 10 on that Mu EX. So, as you can see, we have the Mu EX. So this is how they do it. They look at the front, sides and corners, and the back centering as well. And obviously we have two tens and the nine, um, which, you know, is pretty minty, and obviously it earned itself a 10. So, with the Tapulele GX, we missed out on a few points there. The front, the sides and the corners, we've got a nine, 10, nine, nine on those as well. Um, but again, you know, these cards aren't lot, no more than a tenner. Um, but yeah, so happy with nines, and they look really cool in these cases as well. And uh, yeah, that is pretty much the gist of it. These are all metal slabs as well, uh, like metal plates of your card and your authenticity of each card. And um, they're my sleeves back as well. Happy days in, in my top loaders. And uh, you get one of these for each of your cards that you send in. Um, so yeah, really, really nice, really happy with the product. And that being a metal card as well, it's not like a flimsy bit of cardboard, you know, it's, it's good quality as well, so they're keeping on that theme. And uh, yeah, my, like I said, my experience has been so good, and every time I sent cards to them, they've, they've come back, you know, in really nice cases with no problems or issues at all. Um, but which is also interesting as well, I wanted to speak about, they're also doing like a promotion on their Twitch stream, so if you send something like a sealed product to them, they'll open up the product, and you know, do the video on their Twitch stream, they'll actually grade your best cards. So the Pokemon Go Executor box that I had, that I had on my video previously, I'm actually gonna give them that, and they're gonna grade the cards, the best cards that they pull from that. So yeah, you know, it's pretty cool, you know, I'm getting cards graded for free. Yes, I've got to pay the postage, but still it's all good fun. And um, yeah, what I also noticed that if you go on their main page, you scroll to the bottom, a few right-sided swipes, you can actually see they have a graded Champions Path Elite Trainer Box, which I think is really exciting for the future. If they're gonna be grading sealed products, it's actually something that I looked into trying to do with three other companies until I realized that these guys were actually gonna be doing that. I was actually really <laughs> excited and I messaged them up saying, is this something that you're doing soon? And um, they couldn't give me an ETA. It is something that they're looking into and obviously putting the picture out there, they're kind of hinting towards that they are gonna be doing it in the future. But, um, which is very exciting. Let me know what you think to that, about getting your graded, sealed products graded and stuff. I think that's the whole different dimension it, it brings to Pokemon collecting. But overall, it's been an excellent experience. Um, I think the company's going in a really strong direction with you know new exciting ideas, things like they're doing the Twitch and Instagram, obviously with the sealed product, grading sealed products. See if they start doing like that, 
you know, I haven't seen any other company do that, which I think is even more exciting and definitely something I will look to do in the future as well. But um, I will leave their links in the description below. Go check them out, send some cards off. They've got eight pound grading at them and now would be a great time to send them off. But as always guys, subscribe for more Pokemon videos and I'll see you guys again soon.